Okay, so now uh, it's time for some more weathering, and this time I'm going to use artist chalks. And we're going to apply some pigments. Got some sanding paper. Uh, of course, you can buy pigments. So. Um, but I have these anyway, so I'm using them. Starting with some light colors. And mixing in something a bit darker. And a bit of black. Okay. Now let's see. This is where we are right now. Uh, this is a quite dusty environment, so. I'm going to start with a little black. To give the model a little dust coat, starting in the lower areas. Because that's of course where the dust will build up. I'm trying to get the recessed areas. a bit of color can go a bit over the top with this because after you apply the final varnish the pigments will be toned down a bit. Also go over the ground a bit. It helps to give the model coherence. It doesn't look too bad. Okay, on to the other side. Okay, it's looking good.
Okay. Okay, let's look at the whole model. Definitely gives gives the model some some more color. It's much more interesting. And all these weathering effects uh, start to tell the story. This is looking very used now. Oh, and um, I've also um, painted uh, this viewing device and uh, the machine gun. But unfortunately, another piece broke. <laughs> uh, this was only attached here with a pin so that you could move it up and down. Guess what? It just snapped off. So normally this would of course go here. I don't really like this anyway, but it's part of the model. I think it looks a bit too bulky. And I'm going to glue the gun on like this. You get the idea. Okay. And I think... That's sorry. That's uh, that's it. I hope you like the results. If you have any comments, please tell me. If you um, have any advice, uh, I would very, very much like to hear it. After all, I'm uh, a beginner too, <laughs> and I like to learn. How to can how I can improve my improve my painting? Yeah, but for now there you have it. That's my take on the Luther or Luther. Hope you like it. I do like it. I've grown to it. Um. 
Oh, okay. See you next time. Cheers. Oh, and one uh, important, very important thing I forgot. Of course, I'm now going to varnish this model. Uh, first, with a gloss varnish. I'm using this one by Vallejo. Uh, and then, with a, co a coat of matte varnish. The reason for this is the the gloss varnish uh, offers a much better protection for the model, but as it is gloss varnish, the model will, will be very glossy, very shiny, shiny, and the matte varnish gets rid of the shine. So one coat of this, one coat of this, and another um, uh, cool thing or cool feature about using these is if the matte varnish is rubbing off to, to use. You can see it uh, because the gloss varnish will shine through and there will be shiny areas. And so you know when you have to re-varnish your model. Very handy. Okay, but now that's it. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Cheers! <laughs>